Let's get a sound check. Q Town. I got Hurricane Georgie for John McDermott making his first start. He actually qualified really good. He qualified 53. All I really wanted to go with him, I mean, this is probably the cheapest track master we have, and, and he was qualifying him with like town gossip and 1 800 in those horses. So they were going plenty for this guy for a qualifier. So he looks good. I drove him as a three year old. He's, he's like filled out a little bit more. and a little bit stronger, it's matured a lot. He's got a good shot, I think. He's tight enough. Got the kid blanked up on the two horse in here also. For Melissa Beckwith, Stormy Beach. Brett Beckwith. I actually drove that horse last week and he was raced really good. And caught a real dirty night, muddy, and he was, he was charging for a second. I actually picked off that horse. I like this guy. I do a lot of work for John in the summer, so I try and stay with, with him when I can. We got Stormy Beach for uh, my mom, Melissa Beckwith. Drove this horse a bunch at Saratoga. I know him pretty well. He, uh, he doesn't do the turns that well over there, so big track looked like it helped him last week. I mean, he went a monster mile for him last week. Mark gave him a fantastic drive, if I do say so myself. Mark's horse is okay, Hurricane Georgie. The uh, horse of John McDermott, they always do good, and they always have their horses ready, even off a layoff. Fives, okay, Crunch is Estrada. He's been pretty sharp. Although that horse had no excuse last week. Uh, that Andy Miller put him on the front last week. Relatively good fractions, and he should have been better than that. I mean, I expect the ones to factor besides myself in here would probably be the one, three, and five. Beautiful Friday evening here at the Meadowlands. Track's good. A little bit of headwind, not, not horrible in our face. Oh, and the number, Pat? Easy storm. Easy stormy. All right. I had to put a tracker in my saddle pad there for the bottom of the screen there to see where I am on the racetrack. Hopefully I'm towards the front. <laughs> Me and John had a little luck. A few years ago we went uh, with Hurricane Emperor out here in the graduate. Actually, for people that uh, are uh, keeping track, Hurricane Georgie and Hurricane Emperor have the exact same first name. It's absolutely all they have in common. He's warming up okay right now. Gonna have to give him a little bit of a score here. He's a little lazy. Get his attention to touch. I think Dexter's got the five crunch. He looks maybe like like one of the ones to beat too. It's kind of wide open. These track master races, you just never never know who's gonna fit it. So crunch horse looks okay. The only thing my guy doesn't do too well is my guy does not race too well first over. He needs a helmet to follow, so if we somehow manage to get shoved off third, we're most definitely better staying third trying to find some room late down the stretch. We'll have to see how the race plays out. Had a case of second-itis on these mic'd ups lately, which is better than it was. It was like a case of last-itis there for a while, but we're gonna try and turn it around here. It's post time, preferred equine starting gate, rolling for ring. Okay, here we go. Let's go, Georgia boy. Crunch. Five to two on the one, need a rocket. Four to one, three, Hurricane Georgie. They're set for the second race. Here they come. Stormy feels quite good right now, which is a good sign. It's a good sign. And they're off our regal eye. Andy Ray's pushing the gate. Hey. Hey. Oh. I didn't want to see the six there. My guy ducked the gate a little bit. Brett's on his tippy toes. Luke's removing to the front. It's not a huge gore. I'm gonna come. This I don't like the look of this one. Marched in a power move that thing to the front, maybe? A little give and go here. This thing's working so hard to make the front. I'll take my chances. It's 27 and 4. I mean. Probably going to half 56. Not horrible. 
a real action patch first quarter. I don't think Luke wanted to cut anyone loose when he came back around. Like I said, I can't come with this guy first over, so I'm gonna have to hope Andy Ray takes me. 55 and four, 28 seconds with a move. Ooh, kids up my back here pretty good. I don't like my guy's gait too much right now. He's hitting the knee a touch. It's crunch first over, of course. Scotty second over. Didn't have to hold for a room late. Yeah, <laughs> you go away? Hey! My dad don't feel too great right now. I do not like my spot. Hey! Pay attention! Hey! Get! Get! Hey! Get! Get! The need a little room. Get! He's flat. Get! Get out of Should have been a touch better than that, I think. I should do these mics up every race. Did you get up there? Oh, of course. I should mic them all up. All I do is win. I'd drop the mic right now if it wasn't attached to me. I'm going to dedicate this win right here to Yannick Jingra. I know he's my biggest fan.